What's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be my winter coat collection. I'm gonna go through some of my favorite brands, different price points, different colors, textures, patterns. If you live in New England, it might sound funny to be thinking about coats because it's been 70 degrees the last week. But I feel like when we have a warmer fall, it just means we're going to have a harsher winter. And I would rather you be safe, warm, and prepared than sorry and scrambling for coats when they have all already sold out. I'll start with the coat I have on. It is from Zara. It's this beautiful oatmeal gray color. I've been able to wear it with neutrals like this or even all black outfits and it looks phenomenal. I bought this for my mother-in-law for her birthday and then my mom wants it for Christmas as well. Everyone is obsessed with it when they see it. It is very soft and the sleeve length is excellent, but this does hit right under my knee. I had purchased like a $200 plus coat from Zara and I loved it, loved everything about it, all of the details, the color, the fit, but as soon as I saw this coat from my mother-in-law, I immediately returned mine because this one was only $50 compared to the $200 plus that I had spent. So shop smarter, not harder. This coat is hands down my favorite one in my collection. I've probably had it for about four years now and it is from Misguided. It is this beautiful, perfect nude. So it's almost as if it's a moto jacket just by this detailing over here, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I get so many compliments on this and I wish Misguided would bring it back. If any of the styles I show you are sold out, I will link very similar ones from the same brand brands that way we keep it at the same price point but the quality of misguided jackets is un matched. Every time I purchase from them, they're like 80% off around this time of year because we're getting ready for Christmas shopping. And I splurge because they end up being so pretty. If you are someone that is just getting into your career and maybe you're dressing nicer for work or you have nicer events to go to at night, please invest in a nice coat. You do not want to be throwing a North Face on with your blouse and slacks or going out with a really nice dress and heels. It's just not the look. Getting a wool coat that is a neutral or a black is so versatile and it will just elevate your outfit instead of bringing it down. Another affordable option for purchasing jackets or coats is from Forever 21. So this baby is Thick. I definitely think this jacket is a lot more dressy. It just has that draping effect to it. It also has a tie around your waist so that you can cinch it in and show off your shape. And the common theme that you will see in this video is jackets are staples. Jackets are pieces that are going to elevate any look and really just pull everything together. Moving on to the same wool style coat except in a pattern. So if you are someone that likes a neutral palette and you already have like the grays or the black or the tans in your closet, then you might want to look at something that is a classic pattern. This is another jacket from Forever 21 that reminds me of an oversized blazer. I am a 100% a girl that loves to throw on a bodysuit, jeans, heels, and blazer. It is timeless. You can never go wrong and you always look so put together. So with a jacket like this, I can wear it to work, I can wear it out for a date night, I can wear it running errands. I personally love styling this specific jacket with my really oversized black sweatshirt, some black leather leggings, and then some white sneakers. Okay. If the last pattern wasn't too much for you, then this one might be where you draw the line. This coat is so soft. It definitely feels more like a faux fur, but it looks more like the wool style jackets that I've just been showing you. So obviously we have an animal print, a cat print, but it is still on the neutral palette. So all of these fit just about at my knee or a little bit underneath. So most of the coats I just showed you are from Forever 21. The quality is just amazing. They definitely are fast fashion, so you're not gonna see the seam styles over and over and over again. So purchasing this last year, I doubt it'll come out again this year, which I like because it just means that no one else is gonna have it. So if you do not have any wool coats in your closet, no pea coats, I would say this is the one that you need immediately. This is the classic wool Pico. It's from Express. So it's definitely the nicest brand out of all of them. Express always has those classic pieces that you can never go wrong with. Christmas is obviously coming up. So if you don't want to splurge on one for yourself, Express is always on sale. So just put it on your Christmas list. 
These look excellent if you are going to meetings, if you are going out for a fundraiser, if you are going out to a really nice dinner. So I would say this is my final wool moto style coat. So it has the same design. I know it's hard to see. I don't think it's picking up on camera very well, but it has the same moto design where you have the open lapel, you have the zipper details, except this one has fur. So it makes it a little bit more luxe, a little bit more edgy or trendy. So if you are not someone that likes to go like full full fur I know that was a huge moment like three years ago then having a little detail on your clothes is a nice way to not completely get absorbed with the trend and be able to wear it for years to come now it's time for my fun jackets my puffer jackets my warm and cozy jackets my grocery shopping jackets I don't care if it's 70 degrees out right now if I had to go to the grocery store I am throwing on a puffer jacket over my sweatpants. I hate being cold in grocery stores. So this first puffer is like your classic puffer. It is from Abercrombie. They make excellent puffer coats. So this jacket is knee length. It is water resistant. It has the fur trim hood. It is fur lined over here as well. And then the inside is the satin material. I absolutely love this bad boy. I was never allowed to have cream jackets growing up because my mom thought that we would ruin them. She's probably right. But now that I'm old enough to buy my own coats and take care of them, cream jackets is where it is at. Oh my God. I recently showed you this puffer in my H&M fall haul. So I believe this was 60 or $70 and the quality is amazing. It's definitely a lightweight puffer. You would need to wear this with layers if it is a really cold day, but it's gorgeous. I got a matching beanie to go with it. I like that it doesn't have all the extras. So it doesn't have the fur trim hood. It doesn't have the fur lined inside. Once it starts getting colder outside and you really don't wanna wear wool jackets with your sweatshirts and your leggings, puffers are obviously the way to go and then you can start accessorizing with scarves and gloves and beanies oh my god i forgot the pockets have fur in them i absolutely love that so i know you went nuts for this on my h&m haul it does come in i think two other colors so this bad boy might be a lot it's a lot i've pointed this on my instagram for you guys i love it so this puffer is from express it is cropped so it hits right above my bum. It is lined with fur. They had it in a ton of colors last year. I got it for I think 75% off or something crazy end of season. So it was originally around $100 and I picked it up for 25. I would probably wear this jacket with an outfit just like this, a basic top, some mom jeans, and then my platform Doc Martens. I forgot to mention that in Express, I usually purchase an extra small. I don't know what it is about them, but they tend to be really big on me. So for jackets, dresses, shirts, I'm always an extra small. Okay, another cropped colorful puffer. This one I did not get to wear. It still has the tags on it. It is a small, it was $30 and it is from Target. I shared this with you guys end of season last year. They had come in a bunch of, oh my God, okay, there's pockets. I was gonna say, what the heck? I wish we had more snow last winter because I don't know, I'm into snow activities now. It's just this really, really pretty green. I love it so much. I can't watch you? Yeah, you wanna watch me? Yeah. You wanna come in and model some of these jackets? Oh, I'll probably fit into them now, but. Oh my God. Yeah. So my last puffer is from Exa Puffer? I've been talking so much. Puffer? That's what they call it? A puffer coat? My last puffer, are you, what are you doing? I'm, I'm like blinded by the light. I oh, can't you can't see, see me? No. Oh, okay, fuck it. My last puffer coat is from Misguided. This is a US size six. I would say this is my most lightweight and lowest quality jacket. It is super thin. So if you are someone that really likes to layer your pieces, then this one is it. And it does have a hood. I don't know how into Sherpa everyone is anymore, but obviously these dominated the last three years. They're everywhere in every single color. Every brand came out with their own. So I really struggled to find one that I liked that wasn't too big or too constricting or really rough or soft like a faux fur. I found this one from a European brand. I can't even remember what it was, but I will leave similar options for you. Now that I put the coat on, I'm like, yeah, I understand why everyone was obsessed with Sherpa, but I feel like we've had so much Sherpa that we all might need a break this winter from it. Next up is a black cropped Sherpa 
coat. So this one I actually picked up from Amazon. Amazon is a great place to get coats, but this one is super comfy. I would say it is more of a casual version just because it is cropped. So this would be my going out to brunch jacket. This would be my running errands jacket. This would not be my going to work or going out on a date night coat just because of, I don't know. It's just so casual to me. There's no structure. It doesn't really hit anywhere special to give you a better shape. So it's a cutie, it's just not the cutest. I saved the best for last and I honestly can't believe I didn't have more jackets from Zara for how much I shop there. But this aviator oversized jacket is what dreams are made of. I picked it up last year in a medium because I wanted a really baggy fit to be able to wear sweaters and my oversized sweatshirts under. So, like I can't. Look how cool it is. They did have this in an all black version, but at the time I had already had a ton of black coats, so I wanted something different. I love the gunmetal hardware details on here. It is fully lined on the inside, so it is extremely comfortable. Oh my God, I just love everything about this jacket. It's hands down my favorite. I'm sure they'll bring it back for this year just because it was such a high seller last year. But I have seen versions of this on Abercrombie, ASOS, I believe H&M. A ton of brands are carrying it now. Okay, that's going to be it for my winter coat collection. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video.